Hello everybody, welcome to Mixed Media Frenzy. Now this is the layout that we are scrap lifting and I believe Kathy picked this out and these are the Distress Oxides that I will be using. Now in the layout, they you, looks like they used a stencil and mine, I, I need practice. But, I mean, that is what it's all about. Uh, the more I do mixed media, the more comfortable I get. Um, now, on these stencils, I went all the way up to the line, so there's going to be a harsh line. But I take care of that a little bit later. Now, first, now another tip that I wished I would have um, realized the colors aren't truly the right colors like as I go like my brush I need to stop and clean my brush and um, yeah I, I think it would have helped plus after I use the stencil I should have went and washed it off and then done it again because the colors that I used in the beginning bled into the last part I did. So that's just a little tip for me to remember next time when I do this. <laughs> Hopefully I'll remember. Now I went ahead and just squirted it with a little bit of water and just to give it that messy, messy look. Now I do have a cup of water with a paintbrush in and I'm just cascading the colors that I used for the stencil um, I'm using just the packaging technique and before I even started I used clear gesso on the, my background and prepped it I think the night before so the next morning it was ready to go I'm doing a lot more mixed media than what they have and I mean I, I really love how colorful it is the color study from Vicki Booten is beautiful I mean my favorite colors I love these colors if you know me at all I pick mood boards with this color scheme in it and uh, or theme and I, I just love bright, happy colors right now. All right, I am almost done. I'm going to do the last few colors. And then I will uh, let that dry a little bit and um, do some paper tearing. I am using the color study. I'm pretty sure everything I use except for maybe two little chipboard pieces um, that I got from Project Life from Becky Higgins. Um, it was a color, bright color rainbow pack of stuff, so I used a couple of them. Now this is how I'm going to cover up my line. And I thought, well, I'd use this paper and tear it and just use the colors that I used going down the page. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that. Now I'm going to play and do some, um, here's a shape that I had punched out from, gosh, maybe last month um, for Punched Out Thursday. So I'm going to make a tag out of it. I went ahead and mounted my photo on white cardstock and pink card or pink paper. And then I trimmed it. Now I'm just trying to get a feel of where I want things. I know I want to use this pink tag because it goes really well with Lily's shirt. And I know I want to use the title so excited. Uh, the grin on Lily's face, and she has one of her stuffed animals, and she loves stuffed animals. And so I thought that title would be cute. All right, I just don't know where I want the title yet. Now I cut the viewfinder in half, and I'm pretty sure I used the other half on a different layout. And um, 
but I, I'm used to the blue and the green over by the blue and the green. Um, I'm trying to lay the colors where where the right color mixed media is, but some, like the green tag, it's over by the orange and yellow, but that's all right. All right, I'm going to stop the camera, and I fussy cut. I wanted to shrink down the title a little bit, and now I'm getting my stuff glued on. I did go ahead and punch out some reinforcements for my tags. I'm just gluing them on right now. And then I went ahead and tied some bows off camera, so I will glue them on. But I had this little piece that I, it's a torn piece, I wanted to add another layer to this little cluster over here. All right. Get that glued down. Don't forget, check out all the links listed below of everybody playing along this month. I took off the whole month of June and I am happy to be back. I just needed that wellness check. You know, I just needed to take a break from a lot. I've been gone a lot. Um, just taken time for me so I am happy to be back playing now this is the chipboard pieces that I I thought I would pull in get the right colors on there and then I just only had one photo corner so I'm putting it in the opposite corner of the circle I want to use this, but I really couldn't find a spot. And I thought underneath the so excited, and I thought, no. So I go ahead and get the sticker sheet out. These little cute little stickers from Vicki. Let's see if there's anything on there. I want to use this adorable rainbow. And it suits Lily a lot, so I always try to do rainbow colors on her pages for some reason because she loves rainbows and unicorns. Briley likes unicorns and rainbows too, but she's more of a, a camping, fishing, outdoorsy shy sweet little girl so that's the difference and lily's more prissy i love how different they are all right so i did put some foam adhesive behind the little rainbow and now i am just adding these little gold circle dots if i get them off my nails <laughs> let's see if they're sticking they're not coming off <laughs> off of the sticker sheet. Okay, after I get those on, I'm going to grab the word phrases, and that is also from Vicki Booten. And I'm going to pull one that says, A Perfect Day, and I'm just going to layer it up there by the title. Right in there. Looks good. And then I had this die cut with the ephemera pack from Vicki Booten. And that says real life stuff. And I think that is it. I'm going to write some journaling, maybe down under the photo over on the right. Um, but now I am trying to get my gold color shine and I'm giving that a shake and I'm going to splatter my layout. So thank you so much for coming. I'll have some close-ups at the end and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>